Hi, my name is Chris Maddock. Uh, I'm an architectural graduate and I've been involved in designing and uh, constructing energy efficient and green buildings for about 35 years. One of the most common questions I get when I'm working with builders is uh, how do you control moisture entry into foundations and particularly how do you control the growth of mold in basements. Rising damp occurs for two reasons, both based on uh, the idea of capillarity. And capillarity is simply the, the fact that moisture will tend to move through materials that are very porous, like concrete or uh, lumber. And uh, when you have a concrete footing sitting in a pool of water, the way you usually do, water will just make its way through that concrete like it would through a sponge, and uh, actually transfer through the concrete and make its way to the interior of the home. It's easy to demonstrate rising damp using concrete samples. With a dish on the right, we place the unprotected concrete sample directly in half an inch of water. With the center dish, we place the unprotected sample not in water, but on top of damp sand. And with the left dish, we place a concrete sample protected with a damp proof membrane in half an inch of water. After about two hours, the ground moisture has wicked up to the top of the unprotected concrete samples. You can imagine over the life of a home how much moisture gets wicked up through the foundation because of rising damp. Several years ago, Canada Mortgage and Housing Corporation conducted a study of 405 homes in Ottawa, Ontario to see if mold was a problem in basements. Of the 405 houses that were tested by Canada Mortgage and Housing Corporation, about half were found to have moisture problems. Uh, 27 homes were selected and were analyzed more closely. Out of those, 18 were found to have uh, mold, and out of the 18 houses that had mold, 15 were found to have molds that were highly toxic. So what you see when a, a conventional foundation footing is poured is that it's poured directly on the ground and of course it's usually formed with, uh, with framing lumber um, and those do not protect the concrete at all from any moisture that, that may f uh, occur around the footing. So typically here in, uh, in North America uh, we use some kind of damp proofing on the outside of the uh, concrete wall and then there will be a moisture barrier underneath the slab and then of course we often have, or we always use a drain tile um, at the base of the footing that's buried in a granular fill. Yeah, when you think about it, this is kind of crazy. It really doesn't make any sense, does it? Because what we do is we do a good job of protecting the, the outside face of the wall from moisture. We put a moisture barrier into the slab. Then we channel all the water down to uh, the footing area, uh, which we haven't protected in any way. And we just ensure that it's well, uh, it's well submerged in water and uh, will lead to rising damp coming up through the footing. There's a product called Formadrain. And the idea of former drain is that it actually forms the uh, formwork on the side of the footings and also ultimately provides drainage. There is a, an area of footing which is below the form and uh, my question is how does that area get drained? The other question I have is because the former drain is actually uh, the sides of the formwork and has to provide a screed surface uh, for the top of the footing, uh, it will have to be level, which means, of course, it can't to promote drainage because there's no slope to the, uh, uh, to the former drain itself. So what do we do to control uh, rising down? Well, the first thing we do is we, uh, we excavate with a slight slope so we can uh, help ensure drainage. We put the footing and the slab on a 4-inch compacted gravel fill so we get good drainage in that area. We install drain tile so it's actually slightly below the bottom of the footing and this way uh, we ensure that uh, we don't have to have water uh, build up around the footing. And lastly what we do is we use a material like the fast foot product which will provide a capillary break around the footing and prevent water from uh, entering the concrete.